How's it going everybody? I'm John and I love to fish creeks and rivers and streams and moving water and my main channel is called Creek Fishing Adventures and I'm doing this on a second channel where I can hopefully have some helpful tips and ideas and things for people that are really wanting to know like specific things like this. So let's just talk about how to find creeks and rivers or streams to fish in. Now there's lots of different options, there's lots of ways to do it, and each state has different rules. So make sure you check with your local rules, and even the local rules can be confusing. So um, first off, trespassing. So a creek or river, almost all of them, if you're, if you're walking the bank, you're probably on somebody's property, unless you're in a national forest. And we'll talk about that in a minute, but if you're if you're just out in the middle of town walking, you're probably on national uh, or on somebody's private property. Um, a lot of places I go are in between businesses, and it's it's somebody's property. Um, but I, I don't know. I I've, I've just go to these places a lot of times, and I'm like, if someone tells me to leave, I'm leaving. If I'm look, if I'll look for any no trespassing signs. If homeless people can walk it and stay in it, then <laughs> I'll go and fish it. And, you know, and they're not getting kicked out. But, you know, some, sometimes I go to urban spots that are, yeah, or there'll be homeless people around, something like that. But um, I'll, I'll still fish these areas. But let's just, let's just first off be like, all right, I want to I wanna go find a creek. I want, maybe you think there's nothing around you and there's nowhere to fish. So find, let's just talk about creeks mainly. So most creeks are smaller. They wind through places. They go through subdivisions, go through business sections. Some are out in the woods or out in the wilderness. Some go through farmland. It can be hard, it can be tough to try to find some creeks, and then you gotta find one that's good, and then you gotta find a spot on that creek that's a good spot to fish. So some creeks, they're great creeks, and there could be two or three miles that it's just terrible fishing, and there's a section over there that's really good, but it's in somebody's backyard, and I run into that problem all the time. You can always ask the people. Um, you can always knock on a door and ask people, and I've done that. There's this creek that I saw, had an old mill, it's in a farm, and you could barely see it only when the leaves were off in the winter time you could see this little spot i stopped three times to get get a hold of somebody and they said i could fish it i fished it two three times it's an awesome little area um, but i have to go get permission if they're not there i can't just go fish it it's in a cow field obviously the first thing you can do is just what you see you can drive around and look at places and i used to do heating and air and that's what i would do i was always looking for a place to fish you travel to go visit your family you go drive over here you you go to the you go to school, you go to uh, church, you go to the gas station, you go to the grocery store, look for bridges, look for streams. Just if you see a bridge, well, wonder what's under that bridge. Probably some water. Um, maybe you live in an area where there is no water. Maybe you live in a thing, an area of mountains where the water is no fish in the water. Maybe you live up north and there's something different. You can make any excuse you want. And you can be in areas that are tough. I live in an area that's very easy to fish. I'm in East Tennessee, and we have a million streams. We got streams coming out our ears, and we got rivers and lakes all over the place. That's not everywhere. Obviously, if there's lakes, there's probably a lot of streams coming into it. Even with that being said, I can't just go everywhere I wanna go. I have to look at places and scout it out. So, you drive around, look, find a bridge. Look on the side, do people pull off and park there? Um, is there no trespassing signs? Is there a place you can just fish like right off the bridge or right under the bridge just to you know see it? Um, maybe you live in town. There's a maybe there's a creek that's going through your town. All right. Well, let me look. Let me follow it. I'm gonna drive the roads that it goes down and look for places to stop. Um, you can do a lot by driving. Google Earth, really easy. Just get on there and look for the blue lines. Okay. And then you turn it to uh, or I'll, I'll have it in street mode sometimes or I'll use my my Apple Maps, and I have it in street mode, and I'll find the blue lines, and then I turn it to um, uh, satellite mode, that's what it's called. So I turn it to satellite mode, and then I, I zoom in on that stream, and I'll follow it, I'll follow it, and I'll look, is there, a, is there a bank access where people pulling off? Is there a ramp that I didn't know is there? First you can look, then you can get on um, online, and or on Google Earth and look. There's also apps, um, there's one called All Trails app, and it's for trails. It's not even for it. But what that does is it has pictures of what's on the trail. So people will post pictures. I'll get on that. I'll go to a new town. Uh, get on the All Trails app. And it'd be like, trails near you. And this one down here. And I'll look at the pictures and see if there's pictures of rivers or pictures of creeks. So a lot of trails go around ponds. A lot of trails are on rivers. Uh, and a lot of trails are on creeks. Like I, my town here, we got a greenway. It's four and a half miles long. All alongside of this creek that you can just basically fish anywhere. 
Um, there's businesses on one side and a trail, public access on the other side. People fish it like crazy because it's so convenient and it's right there. And that may be another situation. Maybe what you're trying to catch is not in that stream. But if you want to find water to fish, there's usually some kind of fish in there. So you might have to adapt what you want to catch by what fish and streams you can get. And that's why I like catching everything. If it's from tiny little shiners to, you know, striper, uh, 25 pound striper bass, um, there's waters, uh, every one of them's different. I can't throw my striper lures in my little creek. I'm not getting anything. And then, um, but I can throw small lures and catch fish and find out what they want and then find out what species are in there. Like, what is in here? You know, my, I went down to my creek the other day and caught six species in like seven uh, casts. And, um, and I wasn't even filming. I was just, I was just doing it for fun. I just wanted to stop and cast in. And it was crazy. I'm like, I forget, forget sometimes there's so many little fish. You just go out there and enjoy it. Another way to find stuff is Googling, um, not on, not like Google Earth, but just Googling something. So, so you, so you found a river and you're like, oh, the name of this river is the, we'll say the New River. New River is, I think it's going through Virginia. So the New River, it's a pretty big river. Like, you know what? I don't know where to get access. Let me try this right here. Go into Google. I'm going to type in New River Canoe Access. One, two, three, oh, three places right off the top. River and Campground, New River State Park, New River Outdoor Adventures, Paddle Maps, New River Trail. There's a whole trail. Goodness, I need to go. I definitely need to go fish the New River. That, I keep forgetting to do that. That's, that's one I want to go fish. But um, there's big smallmouth in there. But that's that's no secret. That's a big place. Maybe you're trying to find something smaller, but and there isn't nothing. But you could if there's a if it's a river, type in the river. Type in canoe access. Type in boat ramp. Type in something else. Maybe you're trying to get your kayak into a spot or your boat or your canoe or whatever. Or maybe you just want to do some bank fishing. Just type it in and do some work. Spend an hour searching, looking online. You'll find something worth going to fish. Um, usually within an hour of where you live. Um, I have a hard time believing that there's somebody out there that can't find somewhere to go fish within an hour. Is it the pristine looking uh, mountain streams that I have, you know, 45, 30, 30, 45 minutes away from me that looks look awesome. No, it may be a little mud hole, but those mud holes could be loaded with fish. I stopped at a place in Missouri on the side of the road, looked over farmland ditch going through. There's all these ditch canals because part of that part of Missouri was flat. I've done the same thing in Indiana and in Oklahoma where there's just ditches and flat areas where the water drains through. I've caught tons of fish out of those places. They could be loaded with fish, um, crappie, bass, bluegill. All those stuff live great in those areas. Stop and try it out. If you want to go catch fish and you want to get out there and, and you're like, I want to do this, but I I don't have what I have. If you've seen my channel, Creek Fishing Adventures, and you see me go with all these places, that didn't just happen by one time. That's, that's years and years and years of searching and talking to people and searching and Googling and driving from bridge to bridge to bridge, spent miles and miles and miles and hundreds of hours online. And I've talked to everybody that I see on uh, fishing to find these spots that are the little honey holes, the good spots. That's where everybody wants to get to. It doesn't just happen. You, some people live right on an awesome river, but they don't fish anything else. They only fish the same place over and over again. Some people don't live close to anything, but they know some places that they found an hour, hour and a half away and they'll go there and then they have the place to themselves. So if you want to find creeks, you want to find somewhere to fish, put some effort into it. Talk to people. I get comments all the time on I'll, I'll fish somewhere and people say, I wish you would share where this was. Some places I don't want to share because they're small and I, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of public access and I don't want people going there and cause, cause everybody will be at the same spot. Some places I do share, but it doesn't, it ain't up to me to share. Uh, it isn't up to the YouTubers you watch or somebody else you watch to share stuff. It's If you want to find something, you can go out there and find it. Let, let a video give you inspiration and then be like, you know what? I'm going to go out there and figure it out. It may not happen today. It may take a couple weeks. It may take a couple months. I may not have a lot of time, but I'm going to find somewhere. Take your little fishing pole with you. Stop at a spot. Just try to walk in and try to cast in. You might be amazed some of the places that if you just decide to go cast in these places, you might be really surprised what's in there, what you see. Wear some polarized glasses walk up to the bank calmly or find a little spot. I'm gonna, I, I've always seen this bridge and I'm going to stop there and just walk down there. Walk down there and just stand and look. See if you, do you see anything moving around? Oh, I saw a little bluegill over here. I saw this over here. 
there could be any kind of fish in these holes. You just got to put the effort into it. Go out there, try it out. Use small lures, use some ultralight stuff. Um, just make a few casts with uh, a bass lure, then go to this lure, and go to another lure. So when it comes down to it, everybody's trying to find those awesome streams to fish. You got to find your own. You got to find your own little awesome stream. Maybe it's not as exciting as this or that, but you can find something enjoyable. You can find your own little honey hole. A lot of times you can find a spot that's nobody else is fishing, and you can it could be your own little fishing, private fishing area. You may have to walk through some weeds. You may have to knock on some doors. You may have to do hours of research. But if you want to find it, it's out there to be found. Be careful where you go. There's dangerous areas, and don't be trespassing. Don't some places that there's um, urban areas could be more dangerous because a lot of people that are in these areas or hangout areas. Some places in the country are more dangerous because the people that live there uh, might shoot you, and or there's animals or snakes or bears. So there's lots of things to think about. Be careful where you go. Plan it out. Make a good decision. The world nowadays tells us not to use our brains to think and actually reason things out and use our judgment but using your judgment is your best thing to do if something looks sketchy the situation looks you know sketchy or this little thing right here doesn't look like it's you know right then uh don't go to that place or be careful where you go or things like that so get out there try to find something make sure you're old enough to be doing that if you're a young kid or something like that make sure you have permission to go to these places and don't just go any go anywhere you shouldn't go but I don't want nobody to get hurt or injured, but there's a lot of fishing, a lot of creeks out there to explore that are just waiting on somebody to find them. Thanks for watching.